Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and it's time for another uh, roundabout roundup. So these are the few items that I found uh, worth purchasing individually at local uh, thrift stores. Uh, the first item is a small gold tone bracelet with this uh, two ovals with two holes, and on one side of the tag it says nickel or no nickel. Nickel with a slash through it. I'm sure, assuming that means no nickel. On the other side, it says Coro. I've never actually seen a tag like this. So I fig figure this is a relatively modern um, piece of Coro. It's also got uh, a lobster claw clasp. So I'm not sure uh, what the age of this will be. So there's the, the Coro mark once again. And... A mark that I haven't seen on a tag and that is the word nickel with a slash through it. These are much older coral. These are a pair of rhinestone earrings. Uh, very sparkly. Nice. I like the, uh, the movement in them and they are marked coral here on the back. Let's see if we can get that to tune in nicely. There we go. You can sort of see uh, Oh, well, if it wasn't upside down, there, there, it's better. The C-O-R-O -O there and on the bottom one. So these are uh, nice screw back earrings and uh, they're quite tightly attached here. So I'm just going to loosen this one off so that you can see the nice articulation. There is one um, rhinestone missing there. From the cup chain oh that might but uh, that's an easy fix for me and i think the price was like two dollars 99 cents so not a big deal in terms of making a fix to an older um, set of coral earrings i don't think the rest of the items are marked this one actually is uh, or has a tag i don't can't remember okay jny jones new york I thought this was a gorgeous, gorgeous chain. It's just a choker. It's probably going to be eight, well, 16 to 18 inches. I guess not really a choker, but since it's heavy, it's probably going to feel more like a choker. Um, beautiful um, pressed oval links with this little cross hatched or hatch design on them. Beautiful color. Um, Great for repurposing into necklaces or embellishing as, um, sorry, repurposing into bracelets. What am I saying? So you could make two bracelets out of this with lots of uh, little charms hanging from it. Um, or beautiful to wear uh, as a necklace itself. Also in the gold tone theme, because there hasn't been a lot around, and it, if I buy three for... Three items, I get them for $2 each rather than $2.99 each. Um, so three for six, $2.99 each, three for six. So I picked up these earrings simply because this sort of uh, pressed open work back uh, resembling leaves and so on, leaves and maybe flowers, um, will be great for um, the back of a pendant or to embellish to make a nice focal for a necklace. Uh, this necklace as well a nice um, modern necklace no uh, name about 18 inches plus a, a, an extender but what attracted me were the hammered rings and so this can be taken apart and the hammered rings used for one purpose there's uh, three sizes sort of large medium small and then the chain is in excellent condition, so it also could be used for making a couple of bracelets or making a, repurposing into a necklace. Uh, these are beads from uh, Bead Landing, sold at Michael's. They're just glass, but they're a nice turquoise color with, with gold. So $2 for that set. Um, these now sell in the, what, $8.99 range? Ridiculous what the price the new prices are. Um, this is a little uh, necklace 
an earring set, pierced earring set, you can see, um, that my granddaughter picked out. And we're going to be taking the earrings and converting them to um, clip-on earrings. Sorry, I lost. I couldn't think of the word for a minute. I'm not pierced, clip-on. <laughs> so that's something that she picked out in her birthdays in May. So perfect color for her. This is something that I forgot in an earlier roundup, um, and I picked it up because it was unusual. These are three, uh, well, definitely two stone, faceted stone pendants, probably just some type of quartz. And I'm not sure about this, if it's glass or if it's stone. I haven't been able to determine. I think it might be glass because it's solid black on the edges, as you can see. But when you look at it straight on, or on an angle, you can see the sort of streaks of silver and and black, which are probably just streaks of, uh, in the glass. Um, I've never seen this type of an armature. So basically, this is a, a hoop, and there's a the the um, the designer has put wire through the hoop, closed it off with a, a, a ring and and uh, by uh, wrapping a ring there, and then this is a little uh, articulation uh, here. And then there's the, ho the, the hoop, and these are all fixed. And another hoop on the other side. And then each of the glass or stone pieces are wrapped on a head pin. This one's not on a head pin, just on some wire. So I thought the stones were interesting, and that it was an interesting setup for a necklace. Again, about 18 inches. A little bit of an extender and it the extender is nicely finished with a little probably piece of glass and finally um, this pin there you go k-e-y-e-s and I'll try to put some information about keys as a manufacturer it's not um, precious metal at least I haven't I don't think it is in any way but a beautiful um, textured and etched maple leaf. Thanks very much. This is my About Town Roundup for now. And uh, it's been uh, difficult getting uh, jewelry jars to present. So this is just a little short video of uh, the things that I've collected in the last... Uh, Oh, I got well actually in the last month and a half. I haven't hasn't been very much out there. Um, take care. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye for now. It's Pat Hood from Passion. Passion.